Okay, so what we have here is a Dipsis baronii slash anilahensis type palm. It was purchased as an anilahensis, but the flower opens with some red, so it tells me it's more aligned to baronii. But the reason for this video is I wanted to show you why it's important to, one, not cut inflorescence off a palm tree until after it's flowered, or two, not to use any neonicotinoids like Bayer that have imidacloprid in them. While I'm not a believer that imidacloprid or any of the neonicotinoids are the root cause of colony collapse disorder, it is a pesticide, so of course it reasons that it will kill bees. So let me zoom in here and show you just what's on this flower. You can see that there are literally hundreds of bees and a whole bunch of June bugs that are on there too. Once this inflorescence and the flowers open, it really is a magnet for bees and other pollinating insects. So right now, if I used imidacloprid, they would just be sucking all that in. And especially the June bugs would probably be dead. So, but there was even some flies on here earlier. So if you do have palm trees, make sure to leave it, leave the inflorescence until it opens up. I can understand why you want to cut it afterwards because the seed can be messy and a lot of these palms can actually make weed beds underneath. But please leave them open, leave it on until it's done flowering and definitely don't use any neonicotinoids. And the reality is there's no reason to use neonicotinoids on a palm tree. Palm trees respond well to spot treatment of killing of things like spider mites or scale or mealybug. So that's probably a better option than, than the easy route. 